We're very excited to introduce the Law Estate Wine Spring release. Uh, it's the second half of our 2012 vintage with the addition of our 2015 rosé. Uh, we'll start with the rosé. With our previous rosés, we had exclusively done Saunier. Uh, for 2015, we decided to go ahead and do an early harvest of some Reved. We brought it in, let it soak on the skins for a little bit, uh, pressed it off, and fermented it for the rosé. And the result was pretty incredible. Uh, a little bit bigger texture, uh, a little more structure and weight to the wine, but still maintaining the incredible acidity and the freshness uh, that you'd expect from the rosé. Next is our 2012 Beguiling. Uh, this is predominantly Grenache from Block 8. It's a Spanish clone, which has a tendency to be a little bit on the uh, heavier, darker side. Um, really great savory notes, a little spice to it. So we took Grenache from Block 7, which is an Antav French clone, um, which has a tendency to be a little more feminine, a little more delicate, a little brighter on the fruit end of the spectrum. Uh, then we brought in a little bit of Syrah, and the Syrah really, you know, just comes in and is sort of a glue to the wine. It really brings solid mid-palate weight, texture, um, just kind of bringing in some of those tannins and rounding out the profile, really just giving the wine balance. Finally, we have First Tracks, uh, which is the first wine that we've actually incorporated Petit Verdot from our estate. Petit Verdot is, is an incredible variety. Um, it's beautiful violet notes, can be really dark, tannic, pretty, you know, pretty big wine. So what we do a little bit different up here is we actually uh, incorporate a little bit of Grenache. The Grenache has much brighter red fruits. Um, and in addition to that, the Cabernet Sauvignon portion from up at this elevation also gives us much more of the, the red profile of fruits. Um, so that complex with that really dark black fruit from the Petit Verdot really kind of creates the base of the wine. Um, the Syrah, which is a little more savory and smoky and, and meatier notes, really brings it together and kind of gives it the signature of the property. So pretty fantastic wine.